Kelly Sparta here for the Spirit Sherpa Minis. And so today we're going to talk about the difference between crystallizing your discontent and issuing recriminations and uh, uh, resistance to yourself. And so uh, first off, let me define these terms. Okay, so the crystallization of discontent is a term from psychology that talks about what we need to do in order to be able to uh, effectively uh, move through the change process. We first have to get really clear about what we're unhappy about because uh, as Tony Robbins likes to say, uh, the pain of the change or the pain of staying the same must exceed the pain of making the change in order for you to make the change. Well, the crystallization of your discontent, the getting really clear about how much pain you're in is creating that awareness of the pain of staying the same to help you fuel your process through the change. Okay, so we, we like it, it's good, right? Now, recriminations are beating ourselves up, right? Resistance can also look like beating ourselves up, right? <laughs> Uh, it can also look like, uh, you know, saying, oh, well, I can't because, or, you know, any number of other things, avoiding the topic altogether or whatever. And, and so when we look at the difference between crystallizing our discontent and recrimination slash resistance, I'm looking specifically at the part of uh, resistance that is the beating yourself up piece, because crystallizing your discontent versus beating yourself up looks and they're they're very close without being at all related okay so crystallizing your discontent is letting yourself get pissed off and frustrated about the things that are not working right and the reason that we're usually not clear about our crystallization of discontent is because we are only looking at one piece of it at a time, right? So we have these things that we tolerate, right? You know, we tolerate this and we tolerate that. And you generally only run into something that you're tolerating once, one at a time, right? So you may be tolerating like, like um, you know, my, my HVAC system overflowed and we just haven't gotten around to painting the ceiling yet. So every day, I, I, every time I get up from my desk, I look up and I'm like, ah, oh, the ceiling's not painted toleration, right? And so at some point I'll be like enough and I will either paint it or I will hire somebody to paint it because I will be done, right? But that is what we're talking about with tolerations. And so you may have 15 or 20 to tolerations in your physical environment, but there's a lot of tolerations that you have in your energetic, emotional environment as well. And so crystallizing your discontent means getting very clear about what the tolerations are that you are putting up with and listing them all, all at once, right? So if I did that with the house right now, I would have a list of probably eight different things that I'm like, I want this fixed and I want that fixed and da, da, da. And it's like, okay, well, when we build up enough, then we'll hire a contractor to come out and deal with them all, right? And in the meantime, we just like, <gasps> we suck it up, right? And so that's the crystallization of discontent. Now, when you compare that to beating yourself up, I look at that and I go, yep, I'm tolerating that. I don't go, wow, I suck because I haven't done this yet. Okay, that's the difference, right? If there is an I suck involved in the conversation, you are in resistance and or self-recrimination. You're beating yourself up. And we somehow in our heads, we think that beating ourselves up is actually productive. We think that if we beat ourselves hard enough, we will stop being lazy or lame or whatever it is that we think we're being. And it doesn't work. I mean, think of all the times that you've beaten yourself up in the past. Did it actually work? No, it doesn't work. It is demoralizing. Think about it. If you did that to somebody else, would they be motivated to do anything about the thing that you wanted them to do? No, they'd be pissed at you and they would be passive aggressively avoiding ever doing it in the future because yeah, you deserved it. So, you know, this is the thing. So if you are blaming yourself, if you are shaming yourself, if you are calling yourself names, you are not crystallizing your discontent, you are engaging in resistance and or self abuse. And so 
let's be really clear about the difference. Okay. So if you would like to learn how to love yourself more and beat yourself up less, Inner Peace 101 is a great place to start. That is the four month program that we have that walks you through your fear, anxiety, worry, dread, self doubt, inner and outer judgments, as well as building a foundation of self love, of self support and courage. And in the process, you'll also learn how to clear your energy field, how to maintain your boundaries, how to set shields energetically, how to set wards and protections on your house, uh, how to do basic divination and to talk to your spirit guides. We do a lot of stuff in this four month period. And it, this thing is life-changing. People report not even recognizing themselves when they come out the other side in a good way. And so, you know, your stress levels get cut in half. You, you just, you, you totally see life differently when you come out the other side. So if that sounds good to you, sign up for a discovery call. Uh, we've got, or you can just sign up for the course online. There is a uh, page for it on my website and uh, you just go up to uh, the services section and, and click over into inner piece 101 and it'll take you through everything that the course is doing and uh, all the stuff that you get with it. And you can sign up right there. And uh, if, if you have any questions or you need a discovery call, there's a link at the bottom of the page there as well that you can sign up for a discovery call to discuss whether or not it's the right choice for you. So that's it for this time. I will talk to you next time. Have a great one.